station. This is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Ready for the event. KUSA Denver 9 News. This is Mission Control Center, Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Anusha Roy. How do you hear me? Anisha, loud and clear. How about me? I can hear you. I'm ready to speak. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, I don't think I don't see him, right? I'm not supposed to see him anywhere. Okay. All right. Matt, Dominic, can you hear me all right? This is Anusha out of Nine News in Denver. I hear you great. Great to be talking to Denver today. Yes, we're so excited to chat with you as well. I just wanted to start off by hearing a little bit about your role and your responsibility right now. Oh, so many, so many roles up here. We switch hats all the time, <laughs> metaphorically of speaking, of course, but the... Uh, you know, I'm a flight engineer aboard the space station. Uh, I was a crew member on uh, the Dragon to get up here, responsible for safely uh, getting a crew of four to the space station for a six-month mission, and here in a few months, responsible for getting them home. Uh, but uh, on space station, I'm everything from a plumber, you know, fixing the, uh, the, the toilet or the plumbing on board the space station, an electrician, uh, to somebody who's, you know, helping a, a, an investigator on the ground conduct an experiment. Uh, in fact, yeah, and then in the next two weeks, we're getting ready to go outside and do a spacewalk. We've got a cargo vehicle from Russia arriving tomorrow. We've got uh, another crew coming up for a space test on a uh, flight test on Sunday. It's a busy place. So you want to talk about roles? I could talk about roles all day. <laughs> I, I am curious to hear, you know, in your time so far, what has stood out to you the most? Like, what was that moment where your, your jaw kind of dropped like, wow, this is my work. Like, this is what I'm doing. Oh man, I think I think a good phrase that I heard I don't know a couple of years ago for that is what they call like a pinch me moment. Like, is this real? You call it a pinch me moment, and there's just been so many pinch me moments. Uh, you know, that first time you know we got to orbit, you felt the zero g in your seat, and then you know you you kind of leaned forward. We had you know like you talked about roles and responsibilities, but then you had that chance to just look out the window for the first time and and see the curvature of the Earth and the thinness of the atmosphere or you know just just floating once you came aboard the hatch opening and seeing your crewmates that you hadn't you know you'd trained with you know and friends with for many years but hadn't seen in a long time you know there's just so many pinch me moments is this real wow okay we we are like giddy that we had a chance to talk to you today i am curious you were talking about the view like what is your view right now if you were looking out the window what do you see Uh, so there are actually two windows right behind me, and I, I'm not sure. It looks like it's dark uh, because there's not light creaking, cracking through the sides. Uh, but the view is incredible, both day and night. Uh, I've probably, I've probably shot over 100,000 images trying to capture it to the best of my ability, and I still can't capture what the human eye can see, despite all those efforts. Uh, mm. The colors are incredible. We've had some amazing aurora. Um, you're just seeing other satellites, seeing stars. Uh, seeing the planets, seeing the moon, seeing it all interact, uh, and Earth, and then, and then, you know, Denver. I've actually had a chance to fly over Denver a couple times itself, so it's just such a beautiful sight to see. I can't, I can't really explain it. Yeah, I can imagine flying over Denver and Colorado is particularly important because you have a lot of ties here. I did. I, I grew up there. I grew up uh, just there in Wheat Ridge and, you know, in the mountains. And probably that's where I got my exploration spirit that made me want to come to space, right? You, you know, exploring outside my backyard in the beautiful landscapes of Colorado, going up into the mountains, the canyons, the valleys, the mountaintops, you know, that I don't know how that, you don't walk away from Colorado without an exploration spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I'm curious about when you do come back here on Earth. I know you're, it's, it's about six months or so. What are you the most excited to share about what you learned with folks here in Colorado? Oh, so many things. Uh, I mean, obviously, the first thing I'm excited to go back and see friends and family. Uh, and, be, you know, we've been we've been separated for some time up here. Uh, but to get back and, you know, 
you're taught and you know and you hear all the time the importance of conserving and in and, and taking care of the earth. Uh, but coming up here, the fragility is just so much more evident. Uh, the thinness of the atmosphere, you look out and you see how little there is between, between humans on Earth and the vacuums of space. And so, yes, I understand conservation is something I've thought about you know, for much of my life, but it just seems so much more deep and so much more clear to me the fragility of our civilization now. And my last question for you is just for, I, I know there was so much training, so much studying, and it was a long journey to get to where you are right now. What would you say to anyone else, especially, you know, the younger kids who might be watching this going, I'd love to do the same thing that you're doing right now. I, I there's a lot of advice, you know, this could, this could be a long time, but I think the simplest way to say it is, is to go do things you love because you'll never want to stop doing them and you'll ultimately be really good at them. And this job requires people from all kinds of disciplines as we move our civilization to low Earth orbit and, and then onto the moon and to Mars. We need everybody, all types. And so if you go do something you love, you'll be really good at it and it will never, ever feel like work. Oh my gosh. Well, it has been such a pleasure to be able to connect with you, Matt. Thank you so much for sparing a little time for us to chat with us. We appreciate it. Thank you guys, great to talk to Colorado. Station is the Houston ACR that concludes the event. Thank you to all participants. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.